And here we are for another video. You are looking at a waddle of penguins. That's right, a waddle of penguins. I had to do a little bit of research because, um, tell you the truth, uh, these coins I was going to pass on when I saw them come up. But um, I'm glad I didn't. They are actually very nice. And we're going to get into this here in a sec. What do I, what do I have here also? I have a COA which is what we're going to start with. So if you will stay with me, I will be right back. All right, so... What were we saying? A waddle of penguins. Uh, I guess a, a group of penguins together is called a waddle if they're on land. And they're called a raft if they are in the water. So these guys, as you can see here, are on land. So they are a waddle. A waddle. Yeah. So what do we have? What are we looking at? We, let's start with the COA. It's uh, very nice presented. It's a nice size uh, card. Uh, you open it up, and inside you will find information about New Zealand's um, wildlife um, with a concentration, of course, on the penguins. So it's a nice little um, appeal here for conservation, uh, especially for endangered species, extinct species, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, of course, if you'll get one of these, you can take your time to read through that. It is pretty interesting, and it does kind of make you aware um, of our current condition and how we're treating our planet. Not that I'm an advocate of anything in particular, I'm just saying. And uh, on this side here, you have the, the COA, it is numbered. This one is 11725, limited edition. That's very nice. Also, on the uh, one side here, on the one of the back sides, you have the actual specifications of the coin. So let's go through that real quick. Um, am I not seeing this good? Is it? There we go. Sorry about that, folks. One New Zealand dollar is the denomination. It's of 999 silver, so three, three nines silver. It's premium bullion, uh, so that is a little bit of a, a plus. Premium, uh, one troy ounce, 40 mil. Um, the edge treatment is milled or, or reeded, some might say, or etched, others will say, whatever. Uh, obverse design is Her Majesty, which we've seen a lot of. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but there is a whole lot of coins out there with the same portrait. And then, of course, on the reverse is the Chatham, Island, Chatham Islands Crested Penguins, which is what we're looking at. Uh, designed by Dave Burke of New Zealand. Uh, the mint, surprisingly enough, is not... Well, let me, uh, uh, let, me, let me save that. But we're looking at Sunshine Mint uh, in the States, in the United States, is who actually made the coin, who minted the coin. And there's a mintage limit of 25,000. Now, I've come to... Um, uh, recently, I've come into some information that if it's stated as a limit, it means that there could be less than 25,000 minted. I don't know why they would do less, but um, that's that tells us that there will not be any more than 25,000. So there, it's possible that they minted less. So let's call it that, under 25,000 minted. Um, if we flip the whole thing over to the back, again, we saw the penguin thing. Uh, that and then we have this one here. So basically, what I was saying as far as the sunshine mint, these coins are produced uh, were 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 made by or for I should say New Zealand Post, not the New Zealand Mint, but the New Zealand Post Reserve Bank. And there you have that. So it's, I'm 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 curious to um um to maybe I'll, I'll do some more reading and find out. I'm curious why the New Zealand Mint didn't make these coins, but they went to the States at Sunshine Mint to make the coins. Very interesting, I know. Oh, sorry about that. I did uh, forget to uh, turn off my notifications on my phone. How silly of me. Um, so anyway, so there we are. Um, that's the COA. Now let's get into the actual uh, coin itself. Okay, so let's put this guy off to the side here, if we can. A waddle. W-A-D-D-L-E, a waddle of penguins. And here's the coin. Um, I've kept it in the capsule. Um, a lot of times I'll take them out of the capsule because uh, I just don't like the glare that my lighting here puts on these, but that's okay. We'll leave it in the capsule for now. I think we'll be able to see enough. Um, 
40 mil, 40 millimeters, millil millimeters is the size of the coin. Again, the back side we said was the uh, queen. And we've, again, uh, not, uh, you know, I mean, it's not a negative comment, but we've seen this image on so many coins. I, I do wish we could get a little bit of variety going. Anyway, that's just me. Uh, but we have the usual here. New Zealand, it's a 999, one ounce, Elizabeth II. Um, and the effigy, of course, is of the same, so we've got the same maker's mark, you want to say, on the on the bottom there. So that's pretty typical. I mean, we've seen these, we've seen these in so many different coins. So um, here we are. Here are the penguins. Channel Islands crested penguin, one dollar. Let's take a little bit of an of a closer look here. I mean, I think that strikes me first. Believe it or not, is the background, is the the the, um, the design in the back. Um, that gets me the most, I think. It, it's, it does break up the back. Um, I, I prefer that over having just a simple, you know, what, sky, I guess it would be in the background. So I do I do like that a little bit better. Um, you notice the ring around the coin. Um, that's also something that sets off a little bit more. It gives a little bit more prominence, I guess, on the coin itself. I do like that. Now, the penguins themselves, we've got two penguins. And again, they are the crested penguin. They've got the big eyebrows, as I like to call them, the big, uh, you know, hairy eyebrows, like some of us Italians, uh, we have those big eyebrows. Anyway, moving on. Uh, they're standing on some rocks. You see the ocean in the background. So, yeah, it, it's it's actually a pretty nice coin. Let me zoom in a little bit because you can actually see the, a little bit more detail. Can I not zoom in anymore? No. Okay, let's bring it in closer then and keep it focused if I can. Okay, there you go. So there is good detail on this, even the way the rocks have been struck. And, and I mean, it looks like there's color on these, but it's there's not. There's no color, but it looks that way. So very, very, very nicely done. I do, I do appreciate the time that's gone into this. And again, they are considered premium bullion, not just bullion. But uh, you'll have to excuse a little mini scratches on the capsule, not on the coin. Maybe I should have taken the capsule off. Anyway, that's okay. I'm sure you guys all understand. But there you go. So, I, And again, as I said in the beginning of the video, I was going to pass these by because I'm not really a penguin guy. Um, but then um, I said, you know what? They do kind of look interesting in look, look interesting that in uh, pictures, in the photos. So I said, let me let me give it a shot. So I went and get ahead and, uh, and ordered it. So uh, I'm not uh, I'm not disappointed. I do like it. Okay, that's the uh, the edge there that we were talking about. I call it reeded edge. I guess it's not. I don't know. But what do you guys think? Leave me a comment. The crested penguin from the New, New Zealand Post, not the New Zealand Mint, but the New Zealand Post, minted at the Sunshine Mint in the USA. Another nice coin, I think. I think if you are, I mean, even if you're just into premium bullion coins, this is a nice coin to add to your collection. Uh, leave me a comment if you don't mind. But again, it is nice. I'm not giving you too, a whole lot of detail because I've, I've just got these in, actually. So um, it was on the back of my mind because, like I said, penguins weren't really big on my on my list of collectible coins. So I'll have to do a little bit more reading on this. But I wanted to bring this to you um, and see what you guys think about it. So there you are. Let me come in again a little bit. Tell me what you think. I think it's a keeper. I like the coin. I really do. There's a lot of potential here. There's a lot to look at. You could admire it for a while, like I'm doing now. Okay, let's call it a day. Um, again, if you wouldn't mind, uh, like the post, I mean, the video, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I, I know I say that a lot, but it is important for you to subscribe to the post. Don't just uh, let it go by. And uh, there's a bell down there. Hit the bell. That way you'll be notified when I uh, put new videos up. All right. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.